when I'm in the other room and I'm running the water and she's down the hall or you know I can't hear because there's too much ambient noise I can't hear so she keeps after me for a year or two <laughs> longer I could hear things but I didn't understand what they were saying it would be noise and I'd, so I'd look and I'd see the noise and I'd say what'd you say or you say that again so I went to two paid and the VA and they all said for your for your mileage <laughs> you're okay bye when Mr. Richmond came to see us he had a lot of common complaints that most of our patients have over the age of 50 he had trouble understanding his wife especially in crowded noisy places and he had some intermittent ringing in his ears we tested his hearing and he did end up having a moderate high frequency hearing loss in both ears it's a sensory neural hearing loss, meaning there's damage to the hair cells, damage to the nerve. All that really means though is it's not something surgery can fix. So hearing aids were his treatment option. He had the most common type of hearing loss that we have and the easiest one to fix. So it really was the best route for him. We put him in hearing aids on both sides, so bilateral amplification. The reason is God gave us two ears, so it helps with localization. It helps with understanding and clarity in noisy places which address his complaint. Another reason hearing aids are really important for him was the ringing in his ears. A lot of people think there's nothing that we can do, but with hearing aids they do help reduce the ringing naturally. Working with Dr. Pearson was was really a pleasure. Uh, I, she instills a great amount of confidence and and everything she told me was 100 percent no problem from the 10 second prep time to get ready to go in the morning to when when you, you hear the one's going, you might as well change both batteries because the other one's going to go pretty quick. Uh, and and just really, and when it was falling out, she put the Ziploc ties on there and, you know, two seconds and I'm, and I know the answer to this. It really, really gives you confidence. Compared to what I've seen and my whole life I've seen people with the big chunk of plastic behind their ear and the little knob and they're always fiddling with it and all that well and the and then my mother had to take them out put them in the desiccant put the desiccant in the microwave I mean it, it's just it's like a Model T Ford there's nothing to these you just it, it, it's just as modern as it could be and and the little the little battery just you know it, that's it I've had hearing aids for about five months I guess and I'm actually hearing things I haven't heard in forever, like the sound of walking across a, a shag rug or something. I can hear it now. Uh, I heard my turn signal for the first time a couple of weeks ago in a long, long time. So my hearing's actually improving uh, because of these hearing aids, which I'm sure you can just see them. They're bulking out behind my ear now, right? You can't see them at all, can you? Well, they're there and they work great. My life has been so much better with these because I can hear now and I don't have to keep asking people to repeat themselves. And I, that actually kind of makes me proud to be able to do that because other people will say, what did you say? And, and I just say, hmm, he needs hearing aids. <laughs> he's doing great. He wears them like he's supposed to. He puts them in the morning, takes them out at night. And the reports that we've gotten from him as well as his wife is things are going really well. It doesn't affect his everyday life. He gets to go and be out and about and understand speech without having to say huh or withdraw. Um, and I think he's doing really well and he's really enjoying them.